yeah for today's live i'm gonna invite uh, wendy to taste amazing deep and uh, she will taste my raw ratatouille so i'm gonna invite her to join so it's healthy healthy by wendy Okay, let's see if she join. So her ebook is about uh, deep and dressing, fat free for some and uh, all is low fat. Uh, it's in the bundle with my ebook as well about uh, raw French cuisine. You can find everything in the link in her bio. To see the detail. Oh, I see. Wendy, <laughs> I sent you the invite. Okay. Here we go. Come on. It's gonna work. Always a problem with lives. I don't know why. Always so weird. So, Wendy, I sent you the invite, the invitation. Oh, that's it. Yes, it's working. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there always a, de a delay uh, each time. <laughs> so weird. So, how are you? Every time. I'm doing good, thank you. Thank you. Lots of stuff going on. Super excited to be here for the bundle and uh, to meet you. So, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you too. So maybe you can introduce yourself. Um, yes, well, I'm Wendy. I'm the organizer of the Dutch Fruit Festival because I am originally from the Netherlands. So Dutch, I, I'll, I'll, I, I hang my awesome new banner for this year uh, in the living room <laughs> for the lives <laughs> because we had this painting here and uh, yeah I renting our this place and I didn't like the painting so much so I thought make it so happy on the photo um, so yeah I am I'm, I'm celebrating my four, 40th year this year which is super amazing um, I have an eight-year-old son and we follow this raw vegan path of life for about six years. Oh, okay. uh, a little bit more than six. So, yeah, I'm super happy to be here. I am happy to be part of this bundle. Uh, it's actually my, my second book in English that we're releasing. And yeah, we're translating it in Dutch, in, um, in Dutch yeah, of course, but um, in Spanish as well, uh, because I'm in Spain. Maybe I'm not too far from you because I know you speak French, but I don't know if you're from France. Yeah, yeah, I am, but in the north, so it's a little bit far. <laughs> maybe where, yeah, maybe, maybe not too far from where I always pass because you have to pass through France with the car if you want to come in Spain, right? So, uh, yeah, yeah. What else you would you like to would you like to know? <laughs> did you did you succeed to try the ratatouille? Ah, so I'm still at my cherry moyas, if you don't mind. Um, for people who are not in Europe, it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I had to, to go to a really nice place this morning, but I got a little bit delayed because there was a car crash in front of me. Oh. And then I got talking there and I watched the, okay, I gotta go and, okay, the car is empty with gas. So. <laughs> So I was a little bit later than expected. So I will, I will show you. I'll have to take the phone and I'll show you. Let's see how to do that. Ta -da! So I put your sauce. Yeah. Vegetables in this really nice bowl, and I'll be taking some photos about it uh, of it later. Um, Seems amazing. <laughs> so I had to. Yeah, I know you said one of these, one of these, but you know, I had like 10 minutes to make it. So I just took my ingredients, I put 
<laughs> and I get back, I could look back and I did not know what is Laurel, so I didn't put that in. What is Laurel? What is uh, Laurel? Oh, what, what do you mean? Uh, in your recipe, it says Laurel. Mm, let me check my recipe. <laughs> Okay, so this is my plate. And yeah. So I'll be eating it after the cherry moyas. And I, I saw that I by accident pressed the wrong button, but it'll be okay. It's not... <laughs> so I, um, yeah, tried to oh, do everything raw like that. And I just put it in the dehydrator about an hour ago. <laughs> so um, I'm not so I, I think I understand what you said, Laurel. That's yes. it. Yes. Uh, yeah. It, um, it's a leaf. Let me show you. Uh, this is it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking that that we call it laurier. Not like laurel, laurier. But okay. <laughs> Explain me what to do with it. <laughs> Because this leaf normally goes in my broth or in my soup or in my in my tea, but it never goes like you cannot eat the leaf like that. It's like super hard. So like, please tell me, what do you do with the leaf when they're so dry and hard? You put it in. One? You put it in the sauce and you mix. So it after it's in tiny pieces. Mm. So you can eat it. after you can eat it not dry if you have a. Of the tree with you <laughs> it's better but yeah. if you don't you can just put it in the sauce and mix and it give the taste okay oh yeah i have a, a there is a comment it's bay leaf <laughs> bay leaf bay leaf yeah um so in dutch is laurier and i was thinking it might be that but before i put the whole leaf in the sauce and then no, no, it's not that. I was like, okay, I'll ask in the video. I have something interesting to ask. <laughs> Good idea. So Jennifer says something. Dommage que soit anglais. No, anglais, c'est très très bon. So here is your three p pesto. Mmm. Oh, it looks so beautiful! Wow. Yeah. So let's taste it. It's totally uh, fat-free. This is what I like. <laughs> yeah, and we got three peas in there. Mmm, so fresh with the lemon taste. I forgot to put the the uh, zest. You know, I forgot it. <laughs> so oh. it's. I think it's important. <laughs> So what do you have in there now? Mm. It's okay, we can tell everybody, I don't mind. <laughs> can you repeat your question, please? <laughs> so normally, peas, parsley, what else? What did you forget, parsley? Uh, no, the, um, uh, the lemon zest. Oh, zest. No. Okay. This. Lemon zest I, I, is really nice. Yeah, I think it's important for the taste. Uh, it's better. <laughs> I will do better the next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Still really, really... Oh, I still like it. <laughs> yeah, it's still very good. I very <laughs> like it. And your... So your book is about souls and uh, dressing, deeps and all things... Who, uh, which matters a lot when we are uh, when we are eating raw because the sauce is everything. You can eat always the same vegetables, but with a different sauce, and it changes everything. Um, very important. So your book is something to have, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so you have a tzatziki style bay. Metal, metal removal pesto, very important nowadays with all the EV metal everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
We have creamy garlic ranch. Seems amazing, just the name. <laughs> <laughs> tomato sauce base, sunny tomatoes, sunny lime tomatoes, three pea protein pesto, mm -hmm. red dragon deep, a so beautiful color. Uh, top unically, tiny curry, bologna dressing, snow deep. I like it. the names you, you, you gave. <laughs> So we try to be creative. We try to be creative. Yeah. No, like, what's a snow dip? Oh, it's white. <laughs> yeah. And um, you remember I was asking you for the the raw mustard. You remember with the what's the difference between the dark mustard seed and the yellow one? Oh yeah, I got them. I I I, I have to go to the kitchen to show you if you don't have them. No, yeah. I just have the I have the yellow one and I have dark but in powder. Oh yes, you asked me, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if you add some water to these dark ones you get mustard, but the really the ideal is when you get the mustard seeds, when I take them out of the hole in the garden, they they're already dry because the plant is making the, the lobe. Yeah, green and hard with juice in it. And then the moment the seeds are ready, you know, the plant dries out and the seed, it breaks open, the seeds fall on the floor. So that's the moment when I go take them, just before they break open and fall on the floor. Uh -huh. So actually they're already pretty dehydrated and you mm -hmm. can keep them like that. There's no need, unless it's raining. <laughs> the, the Netherlands does that a lot in the north. Um, there's no need to do something specific. And then when you have a bigger amount you can make um, mustard but yeah if you want to make a lot a lot a lot like me i order it online um so these little dark seeds they need to be rehydrated they need to be a little bit more moisturized a little bit more wet otherwise you don't get a spread or a dip sauce kind of thing <laughs> it's so dry it will do yeah. but there is there are very specific spices in there, like tannins, and they are, they are hot, but they will not stay hot. It will fly away when you break the seed. So that's why I add in my recipe something like lemon and mm -hmm. curcuma or apple cider vinegar if you want to, if you eat that and you want to preserve it super long and you can just put it in a jar i go away come back to my parents house six months later the jar is still there six months wow. <laughs> yeah and this is actually why mustard was made i think in europe in this area because people could keep it you know people just kept it for super long to add flavor to their dishes and the original mustard uh jars they are open, there is a little spoon in it, and people keep using it day after day. You know that that's what they did in the old days. But I do recommend putting it in the fridge, especially if you're in a warmer climate, because we're not living outside anymore where it's 10 to 15 degrees. <laughs> so just put it in the fridge and it will be totally fine. So you need to, to, you need to make your seeds wet so that they will soak up the, the water and they, they blow a bit and then they crack open, like to, they crack open not to grow, but <laughs> because the little shell or the little peel, um, yeah, is smaller than the inside that's now containing all the water. And at that moment, that's the perfect moment to start blending it. And in, I always blend it with the handheld blender because then it's, you can keep it like pretty dry it's still moist, you know, can spread it, but it's not liquid. It's not like your sauce that is just like, it's, it's, it's higher than my heart. So I'll probably have to eat it soon because it's like sinking very slowly down, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the water will go away. <laughs> yeah, so the mustard will stay strong. And because there is more hot spices in the mustard seed, it will get preserved. And if you add the, the if you add the lemon or the apple cider vinegar and the curcuma, it will preserve it. Yeah. So it will keep the hotness because curcuma is hot too, and you cannot do with powder; it doesn't work. You really need to have the root. And so, um, yeah, 
I, w I, I wish you could try it out uh, at another day. I know that uh, Jacob Hoy is a brand we have in Netherlands and then most of their herbs and plants, they come from France. So I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get it. It comes in these really big brown bags, anything mm -hmm. 250 gram, half a kilo, kilo. And um, I'm pretty sure you can find it uh, over there. Yeah, so I think I, I will. I will do just a, a little, uh, just for once, uh, because I don't eat the vinegar, so I just use the lemon. So I will just uh, do for one uh, dish and uh, redo it uh, every time. It's okay, <laughs> and yeah. I will. I think use the, you know, to crush it with the. I don't know how, the name in English. You know, <laughs> the grinder. Yeah, manual. Well. That's good too. Do you get it? you get something different, but that's good too. And if you just add lemon to the because it's either vinegar or salt, and I don't do salt, so I can yeah. handle vinegar. Me neither. But, <laughs> but it's just like a teeny tiny bit, and the salt also because it's a sort of a a little fermentation process. But it's not like kefir or or vegan cheese because you don't taste it, but it's some sort of a preservative. So either the salt or the, or the vinegar. Yeah. So just a little, I tried with just lemon. And yeah, when I make a jar, let's see my glass. So I have this gigantic glass. So my jar would be something like this, but we finished that in five, six months, uh, six weeks. <laughs> so I don't need to add vinegar to that because yeah, I'll be eating it. Maybe if I like mustard, my family likes mustard right now. Three weeks, it's finished. <laughs> and I think uh, it's I think it's a wonderful with the avocado. I think it's a really good uh, uh, thing to spread on the avocado. You tried it? I will. I will. Uh, I will maybe uh, next week. I think I will. I have so much thing to to try from the bundle because there is so much amazing recipes. And, you know, I just want to try everything, but I can't, <laughs> I have mm -hmm. to be patient and to just choose um, my list and uh, choose every day what I can do. Mm -hmm. And this is too bad because I will be in holidays just after the bundle. So <laughs> if, if I was in holiday while the bundle, it would be easier because I would have more time to try everything. So I will be, I will continue to try uh things even after the bundle and i will publish it and show the world how amazing everything is <laughs> <laughs> wonderful that's really cool that that i loved it that you do that that's what we're that's what we're doing it for right so i'm looking forward to making some of your dishes um i used to make french cuisine before what did yeah. you do <laughs> what did you do <laughs> my favorite I used to make a lot of coco vin. Yeah. And I don't know this other one, but Swiss lapin. And you have to, like, it's a stew. I don't know. It's, 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 it's similar, but it has a completely different taste because of different ingredients and, you know, mm. preparation time. But it's also a stew, and I would just love to make that. <laughs> and things like, yeah. I'm not somebody that made cakes in the past, but, yeah. My my fa my grandpa, he was running a restaurant, and my dad he picked up on you know fruit fruit prepping skills. So they both mm -hmm. make, yeah, they they make the <laughs> they make the 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 dishes pretty French in the Netherlands. It's some sort of people think it's better, you know, like if it's French, it's better than <laughs> Dutch because it's Dutch. Then you eat like kale with potato mashed with some brown stuff on top of it that's supposed to taste good, but actually it doesn't taste good at all. <laughs> so yeah, I was looking and trying to, trying to find sprouts uh, or um, how do you call them? Seeds to sprout something all over the place, but I haven't been able uh, after we spoke to find it. I went everywhere. I even locked all my boxes because I had a sprout mix I thought I'll just use the mix and see what recipe fits. But yeah, I did find this back. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
So maybe I'll sprout some lentils because I was looking at your bread and it's got like oats. But when you buy oats, it's always like polluted with... Um, Oh, you can use uh, buckwheat. It's just because I don't eat buckwheat, so I use oats instead. But you can use buckwheat. I know a lot of people use buckwheat to do things like that, bread or... Mm -hmm. well, it will work well, also. Cannot find no buckwheat neither. Yeah, powder. You can buy uh, powder. Or cook. Uh, sometimes uh, also to make some pastries, uh, people use also uh, corn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never, I never tried because I don't eat corn, so I don't know. But maybe it would work. <laughs> maybe I didn't eat corn neither, but now I tried some recipes that have corn inside, and you blend it with something, and now fuck, oh, tastes pretty good. Doesn't give me any side effects, so. Yeah. Oh, hi, Russia Fien. Hi, Fruity Ravnigan. Got some friends coming to watch that are part of the... Hi, 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 DP Rosemary. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah, good morning for you guys, huh? We are already in the afternoon. We're just oh, chatting. Yeah. We're chatting <laughs> about... So I'm chatting about your book now, about me melodies, right? Melody, like that. Hey, yeah, <laughs> so, um, yeah, you have your fake goat cheese, and I was reading this to my boy, and he's like, oh, fake cheese, fake cheese, mama. I don't know, like, he never ate any cheese, but fake cheese. And when he goes to a place, people always ask, do you eat cheese? And he says, yeah, no, do you have fake cheese? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I don't have any fake cheese. <laughs> so Too bad. And that's really our name. And yeah, I saw this interesting uh, recipe and uh, that would be super cool. I never made it like that. So um, yeah, I think that would be awesome for me to do uh, as little dots on my salad. And yeah, yeah. And can you say me how is pate and crout? How is that? Like, can you say oh. something about that? It was it was hard to make this one uh, in French. In France, it's a it's a, a, like a pastry with meat inside, and uh, uh, so I wanted to I wanted to to uh, succeed this challenge, you know, to because pastry and meat in a row vegan, <laughs> like oh so weird, and. Uh, I use the same um, the same crust than the the quiche, and I was like uh, you know uh, sculpting, shaping to have the 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 shape of the pâté en coup. So was looking for the what can I use to have the shapes everywhere in my house? What can I use? Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. And I so finally use uh, uh, maybe I have it here. I use this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah. I put the a paper and I just this to have the just shape. Brilliant idea. Yeah, it was perfect shape <laughs> because I didn't want to have a too big because it's uh it's a little bit heavy because it's mm -hmm. um it's a chickpea sprouted chickpea. It's a little bit heavy, so if I had too much and I have to eat all of it, <laughs> it would be too long to eat. So. And uh, I put uh, also the um, hazelnut inside because uh, it's also something we we found not uh, not uh, in all version version of it in France, but sometimes or also there is a pistachio also. Mm -hmm. uh, so I use hazelnut, and uh, it's the the key, you know, like the this taste in the middle of the rest. I think it's very important. <laughs> well, it looks beautiful. Well, let me show people what it looks like. <laughs> it looks beautiful. It looks like a cake, but it's yeah. savory. <laughs> it's savory. I think if I tell people it's cake, they go, yeah, it's savory cake. But pastries can be sweet and savory, right? So they can yeah. be both. Yeah, and in this one, there is also the the sweet taste uh, because of the the oats, because the oats is a little bit uh, bitter, you know. 
Um, so it's important to add a little bit sweet to balance the taste. And uh, yeah, I was happy with the with uh, the results. <laughs> Yeah, it looks beautiful. And you got some traditional things like the ratatouille and the niçoise salad. It was like, oh yeah, that's good. You know, like the, 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 the traditional ones. So how was your body doing with all the sprouts and the, from the legumes? I, I noticed that I can handle it, but I should not do that more than once, once a week. So how is that for you? Um, it's okay, but... I don't recommend to eat uh, every day. <laughs> I could, I couldn't. I think eat every day uh, because it's a little bit heavy to digest. Uh, so, and it's important to eat it with a lot of uh, vegetables, uh, leafy green. It's mm -hmm. better like that. Yeah. So you actually make the sides to go with a salad, right? So I have a salad and I put the fake, fake goat cheese on the top. No, yeah, I yeah. do not say it's like fake chèvre, fake chèvre, no? <laughs> <laughs> like that, no? Mm. Um, so I think all our books are uh, a good, um, com I don't know how to say it in English. Um, like uh, your ebook is for the salad going with the things in my ebook <laughs> so it's yes. a good combination <laughs> we have a good combination you can make sauces from my my book and make the nice beautiful sausages and cakes yeah. and other for me trying to petite salé petite salé <laughs> like yeah, you make these pretty things from your book and then with the sauce of my book, it goes really well. But we do need people to add some leaves to this. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have in the end of my book some pr pr present, um, like some ways to present. So I'm like, oh, maybe you can make something like this. Yeah. But obviously that's looking awesome as well. My favorite is just like that, you know, like just yeah. roll with salad and courgettes and all this stuff, you know, like yeah, it's beautiful colors and we want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, there's just all the colors of the rainbow and it looks so delicious. Yeah. Well, it does look delicious too, like your uh, petite salad. And so the first thing when I saw your presentation then you was going through the croissants and I was going, oh yeah, croissants, croissants, <laughs> you know? And then, oh, huh? they are like, more like with nuts. Oh, that's interesting. So almond croissants. Wow, it's so cool. I just think people should try it. Yeah, it's not the same texture, obviously, uh, but the taste is here because of the almonds. It's the same like the the almond uh, almond crescent of this taste uh, with the paste in it. Yeah. Hey, so how is the ratatouille? You are tasting it. How it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I'll take it again because I have to eat the sauce now. Yeah. Seems great. I should take a print screen. I didn't make a photo. It's so pretty. I'll just taste your sauce. Actually, it's really awesome. I love that it's so sweet. I want to put it back in the machine and add this leaf. Yeah. So I was actually wanting to keep this little heart and then put it back in the machine after with the leaf to see how is the difference. Yeah. I make little um, paprika dipsticks. I'll eat the one in the dehydrator, I think. Well, you say four to five hours, so mine is now like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. I tried putting courgette in the dehydrator before, and I was not really a fan of that. Oh. Because all the water went out, and it was like nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't put it too long in it. <laughs> so I'll just keep checking after I like what it's about. And yeah, um... I love your I love your um, your ratatouille. To but I have to use red bell pepper. Yeah, it's okay. Um, 
I think ratatouille is one of the healthier um, healthier dish in France <laughs> because there is not a lot of uh, vegetable than French dish is usually. So it's one of the the healthier, even if the the regular one has the uh, oil in it. But this one is fat free, so it's still good. Even before when I was a uh, eating more uh, cooking food. I never put the oil in my ratatouille and that was amazing. I don't know why they put the oil in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it like this. Like, I love it like this. So, um, I thought ratatouille has aubergine in it. Yeah. Does it have aubergine in it? Yes or no? Yeah. We can we can make with it or without. There is different uh, different uh, version of it. Mm. Uh, I choose to not put in it because I'm not a big fan of aubergine. <laughs> okay, well I know it's really hard to eat raw, but I thought maybe if it's in the sauce and it's like in the dehydrator, mm, it's really can be really good. I never really tried it, but I was just curious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the ratatouille. I'll be having a really nice um, dinner today. Yeah, me too. I look forward to eat the rest of the <laughs> the rest of my plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you you really made a, a big amount, eh? that amount of peace. I I would eat one of the three. Do you have two people to share with? Mm. You mean I I I put a lot of. A lot of um, well, pee. Well, you have three glasses, right? Yeah, but it's tiny. Oh, oh yeah, they're not so. I thought they would be more like my size. Oh yeah. No. It's tiny. Okay, okay, yes. No, I, I get you. I was thinking, well, well that's big, but. <laughs> oh no. I put. I uh, just put two cups of uh, two cups of uh, peas. Uh, it's normally one in your recipe, but I put two because. Uh, because I thought it was better in the um, the food processor, you know. Just yes, yeah. One will be uh, not enough to turn well. Yeah. Yeah. No, I made it with a handheld blender your sauce, so it can make yeah. tiny amounts. But it ended up making a big amount because, um, yeah, I have tomatoes like this small, special mm. pinkish ones. And I have these. I'll take it out. With this slice, you know they are, they are like um, purple, and then inside is red. Really big one, and it's all now in there. So yeah, I didn't want to blend this pretty one up, so I took the other ones. <laughs> okay, so can I ask you where yes. you are in the north of France? Uh, I am in a village or a little tiny uh, city, maybe, uh, named Peronne. So it's uh, two hours uh, in the north of the of Paris. But I will move in September in Alsace. It's in the east uh, because I want to live um, near the mountains. Because nice. here it's, uh, it just feels and I don't like it. So I want to yeah. move. It's all flat there. Okay, you go to Alsace and the Alsace, and um, well, I'm in Spain. So yeah, I got mountains and sea here. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I never, I never really traveled uh, during my life uh, yet. So I don't know Spain. I don't know anything. <laughs> I just know <laughs> France and a little bit um, uh, England or. Switzerland, just uh, the frontier thing, you know. Oh, you went to Belgium and Netherlands? Yeah, Belgium. I, I'm born uh, very near the frontier of Belgium. So when I was little, I thought Belgium was France. For me, that's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> don't let them know, you know. Don't let them know, especially not... Uh, in the Dutch side, you know, in Flanders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we are our own country. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Well, if you feel for traveling, you're always welcome to, to join our festival. Uh, you know, who knows? It's not too far. Yeah, it seems so. It seems really good. I never been uh, to a kind of this festival, but I'm sure we can uh, meet a lot of amazing people like you. That seems really good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what we do. That's what it's for to meet people and to learn different qualities from each other and expert expertise from each other and, and all of that. It's so funny. I hear you speak. And I know you speak English, but because of your accent, I was just speaking with Spanish people in French. And it's like messing up my brain. Like it's mixing Spanish and French and English right now. <laughs> like, oh, what's she saying? Oh, what do I want to say again? What do I want to ask her? <laughs> so yeah, <funny>. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. It's the way it is. I, I must have, have, have a very Dutch accent. No, it's yeah. okay. I understand. <laughs> And so, so you're moving and you live there. So do you live, where do you live? With your parents, with friends, alone? I live alone. alone. I live alone. Uh, we have Christian saying you're welcome in the Netherlands. Thank you, Christian. <laughs> yeah, Christiane. Christiane is, is also in the bundle. Yeah, she, she is the master of sushi. It's amazing. I'm so amazed by her uh, creativity because uh, what she does is just, wow, there is no words. <laughs> it's a piece of art. Her book is art. It's like you yeah. can hang the photos on your wall in gigantic. No, I look like, wow. <laughs> yeah, there is mosaic sushi in it. Mosaic sushi, wow. <laughs> I love sushi. I make, all, I make sushi every week. I love it. But yeah, yeah she's really creative with the art. I'm, I'm really, I'm really proud. We're from the same country. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, just wondering if you grew up there and uh, how long you've been on this uh, Raj vegan path. Oh, it's just been seven months. <laughs> it's a, uh, mm -hmm. it's very new for me. I just discovered it uh, last year, and uh, thanks to the last bundle in October. Uh, it changed everything, and everything being uh, was just uh, suddenly possible. Like I was discovering a new world, and well, I can actually eat r more raw with all of this. <laughs> wow! Yeah, and were you like vegan before, following a special diet? Yeah, I followed the medical medium information for three years, and I ailed a lot thanks to it, and. Uh, I tried the the raw cleans, and this is why I was searching uh, on Instagram raw recipes, and I found a, a raw food romance account and all the amazing things. <laughs> yeah, Melissa is awesome. I met her when when I was just I think 2017 or 2018. I don't really I think 17, and. She was just like one, she's just one year ahead of me, you know, one year sooner to find the raw vegan world. But like what she also, what she does so mm -hmm. amazing with her recipes, like the, the amount of recipes and beautiful photos and what she shares. Yeah. It must be easy. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> for me, it took me two years to finish my first one. And uh, yeah, this one, yeah, eight months. Yeah. Like you, six months, seven months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. So we have some really awesome books in the bundle, people. You can go and look the link in our bio. So either um, Melody's bio or my bio. And we will have awesome talks for the rest of the week as well, sharing you all these recipes and trying it. <laughs> Trying, yeah, I think you ask everybody to make something, right? And to try it out. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I didn't ask. Uh, uh, I think I just have one more uh, tasting live. Uh, I think it's uh, Wednesday. Well, I, I uh, must finish my bowl. But uh, after, it's a live about all the subjects. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I, I ran out of dips almost. I only have the onion. I don't like to eat so much onion, but it looks very pretty. Yeah. 
So maybe we can stop here and uh, I will be able to eat those beautiful yes, I just want to dive in like it's it's my own fault, huh? Yes, I yeah. want to I want to eat that too. This <laughs> this is so beautiful. And I love I love peas, so it's perfect. <laughs> oh, awesome. I love them too. Actually, I never really liked them until I ate them raw and then yeah. wow, they're so sweet. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a better. <laughs> yeah, we got some protein to make some muscles. Yeah. Well, I want to say thank you very much for sharing this live with me and let me make your ratatouille. Shall I take it out the dehydrator now? <laughs> yeah. Say bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I like it like this. I think I'll eat it now. I don't wanna. I don't wanna wait any longer. You can see it. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take it off again. And do this. Wow. Mm. It's really great. I feel angry. <laughs> you feel hungry? I have the same when I see yours, but now I want. I want to eat it. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna invite Eric to eat with me. I'm gonna invite, I'm gonna invite my boyfriend here. To come eat with me. Look this ratatouille. You want it? You want it? And the sauce is actually already like dry here on the side. I decided to put it on a plate so that it gets the the, the warmth and the and the air a little bit better. Because we yeah. put it in a high thing and it was just not doing anything. Cool. Well, thank you very much for sharing this recipe and uh, your awesome French cuisine with us. I'm, I'm super happy to, to do that. And um, so the rawest delights, right? So that's you, rawest delights. We can thank <laughs> you back there and um, hope to speak with you anytime soon in the future. Yeah, I think we can talk about a lot of things because I heard your... Um, your life of yesterday, I think, about the um, uh, spiritual thing, and it was very, very interesting, and I'm very interested by all of this, so. <laughs> well, yeah, I suggest we'll make a list of questions. I have some free time uh, later this week if you want to chat a little bit about that. Yeah. So, thank you, too, to be here and to taste the ratatouille. I love when people are trying what I, what I create. <laughs> So thank you and uh, see you later. Welcome. Thanks everybody for watching. See you next Bye. time. Bye. <laughs>